Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wolf Wraith and welcome to Let's Play Defiance. This is Starmer's Interest, so Season 2, Episode 2, and we're going to be doing a mission called A Milk Run. I'm not sure what to make of that. Uh, Vara Selepta has another contract available and he is offering more than usual. 500 script, whoa! That's a lot. Ah, yes, Mark Hunter. Glad you could show up. See, I've managed to make a very, very valuable connection lately. The Tar family wants to move some cargo through here, and they came to me to get it done. And lucky you, they paid extra for an Ark Hunter to make sure everything goes smoothly. Ooh, they paid extra for an Ark Hunter, huh? Uh, hopefully I haven't cancelled- Oh, here we go, cool. Uh, so I'm fortunate to be playing this, uh, when they've made it free to play now. It's basically Defiance 2.0 is what they're calling it. Uh, they did add an option to finally change loadouts on the fly. But the problem is that when you go to change a loadout on the fly, it still has a countdown timer. I'll show you in a sec. Oh no, get away from the Vulge, get away from the Vulge. No, that's not how you get away from the Vulge. Okay, I got away from the Vulge. Haha, <laughs> you're gonna get killed by the Vulge, mate. After crashing into that crap. <laughs> uh, so I'll show you how it changes. Okay, so now that I can go on foot from here. So basically, to change uh, loadouts, you just hold the, the switch uh, weapon button. And I've got all my loadouts here. Not only is the text not showing, but now, if I go to change to Assault... He does that. My character does that. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? That, that's, that's, uh, I mean, it's quicker for me to do this and switch. Oh my god, no it's not. They've literally made the changing loadouts even worse than before. What the hell, Tryon? Oh my god, you're like Google. Take something and just make it worse. Let's, uh, kill some of these bastards here. Oh, hi! Um, um, I've got my wrong goddamn loadout thingy on my mouse. Stealth? Okay, here we go. And now we shot him in the face? Oh! A bum bum in the face. Let's listen to the last call. What? Oh, here we go. It looks like the raiders were hired for this job. There's a third party involved. We better take this back to Varus. Okay, awesome. So this, uh, this particular story arc is gonna have characters from the the show coming in. So in season one, in the game, you notice that Nolan and Arissa were two of the main characters that were were shown in those episodes. Uh, whereas in this, I think Starmer, uh, which is Daytac's wife or ex-wife, I'm not sure what's gonna happen in in season two. Uh, She's going to be a main character in this. Now, it told me to come here. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, she's good. Yeah, there we go. Your shipment is running late, Master Selector. I hope this is not a sign of things to come. If you look closely at the agreement... The, oh, here is the Ark Hunter. Ark Hunter, this is Stama, I mean, Pavita, representative of the Tar family. Ah. Pleasure. Why are you here? Is the shipment secure? Let's see what we have here. Seems easy enough. Just four boxes, right? Yes, you'll be paid on delivery at these coordinates. That's a lot of script. All that, and a middle finger to Varus. I think you have a deal. Master Selector. It sounds as though your enemies have taken my shipment. Favita. You are too generous, Master Selector. I understand that 
will ship off a replacement immediately. A replacement? Of course. Since you do not want the incompetence of your security to be the end of your relationship with the House of Tar. Oh, snap. Of course, Favita. But no replacements. No one steals from Vera Selecta. We're taking your shipment back. So brave. Brave, Varus. I'm sure you'll find some way to protect your business interests with the House of Tar. I'll leave you to discuss business. You. I'll contact you when I found something. Keep your calm handy. Mm, this looks like it's going to be a short one. Oh wow, that was a short one. We are doing... Episode 2, Hide and Seek. A scout working for Varus has contacted you about Tar's cargo. Hell yeah. Varus has more information for us about Stama's shipment. We need to meet his scout. Alright, let's make our way over there then. Meet his, his so-called scout. Oh, not the Vulge again! God, why are they still there? Oh no, I've pissed off some hellbugs now. Where am I going? Sometimes I'm terrible at driving in this. Here we go. Oh, hello. You're Varus's Ark Hunter, right? They went south from here based on the tracks. I'd come with you, but I'm not paid to get killed. Good hunting. I'm nobody's Ark Hunter. You met the scout? She should have the intel you need. And apparently, I need to pay her. Let me know as soon as you find anything. Alack respects the great lengths you go to for the House of Tor. I see why no one does business in the Bay without respect to Varus Selector. If I may ask, what happened to Daytac? He was a good businessman. Alack is the head of the house now. My husband's passion. Ah, there you go. And what does this make you? I'm just a humble woman looking out for her family's interests. So yeah, there we go. That definitely continues right from uh, season <clears throat> one. Uh, if I recall, there the trailers did show that Daytac is in prison. So it's going to be really, really interesting. Uh, I'm really eager to see what they have planned. That this is, I have to say, bar the fact that uh, you know Defiance is a tad bit of a letdown in, in some aspects. Uh, I'm referring to the game. It, it does really well to entice you over to the TV show, so I can see why there's, uh, what was that? There's a new game coming out on Xbox One, uh, Quantic, Quantum, Conun oh, I don't know what it is, Quantum something, and it's going to tie in with the TV show, so it's pretty good, pretty good idea. I like what they're doing there. Okay, here we go, we're at our new location thingy. Uh, what are we doing? Find and use the receiver, cool. I think I just saw another player here, but they just got thrown in another instance by the looks of it. Damn it. Oh. Oh, no, I don't even have to go into this place. Hell yeah. The Raiders have another dock nearby. Someplace not on any map. We need more information. Ah, oh, damn it. I, I was hoping I wouldn't have to go through. Looks like all my buddies are clear of the docks. The Raiders brought some big fella, called himself the Dark Overseer. If you take him out, the other should run. Okay. Well, I just need to work on, on this mission. I don't really need to worry about this. But if it's part of a contract, why not? May as well get, it's get credit for it. There's a hidden grotto nearby where the Raiders hide high-value shipments. Now, I just need the exact location. Oh, no. This is going to be like a bunker... A bunker mission, isn't it? Oh! Oh! No! 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 Whoa! Mission complete again! And I've sent Varus an update. Let's hope he likes good news for dessert after his dinner. Oh God, no! That was a really short one as well. Uh. You're the professional. You may launch your assault when you're ready. I'll just keep charming the lady Tar. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's the raider's boss. Kill him, and the rest will run. All right, so that's uh, that. I don't know what they're doing here, cause they, 
episode one had longer missions. This one's only got like five minute long missions, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, I was I was hoping for something a little bit longer, so, but oh well. Uh, this this ep- episode seems a little bit half assed to me, but uh, anyways, uh, story is story, and I'm pretty happy to have that added on. Anyways, guys. If you got this far, I'd like to thank you for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video around, it would really help me out. And as usual guys, I will see you in the next video.